Welcome to this Kundalini Yoga for Prolapse. So if you have not heard about Kundalini Yoga before, it works a lot on the spine, which is great for prolapse because we really want to work on and improve our posture when we have a prolapse. So we will work with the pelvis, doing some exercises, also connected with the breathing, which is also a crucial part for prolapse, as you might know by now if you have seen my other videos. And then we'll do some exercises walking up the spine. So we'll start in the root, in the base of the spine, going all the way up to the head. And what you need for this practice is some kind of soft surface. You don't need a yoga mat. You can do, do this on any type of carpet. Um, and maybe you would want something to sit on, uh, like a cushion or a blanket for Shavasana in the end, the resting part. So let's come to a comfortable seated position. You can sit cross-legged if, if that feels good for you. And as I said, you can elevate uh, the body a little bit on, on a pillow. Just finding this nice comfortable position where you feel you can elongate the spine without too much effort. Let's place the hands somewhere on the thighs or on the knees. And from here, close the eyes and start to connect with our breath. So the next time you inhale, let the oxygen come into the body through the nostrils. And as you exhale, you empty everything out through the nostrils as well. So just take a few breaths here, in and out through the nostrils. This will already start to activate our breathing muscles a bit more compared to when we're breathing in and out through the mouth. And probably just by becoming aware of the breath, you are already breathing deeper, which is good. So we're aiming to breathe all the way down to the bottom of our lungs, filling up the chest. And as we breathe out, see if you can soften your jaw, soften the shoulders, And the next inhale, see if you can elongate the spine a little bit more. And then maybe slightly, just softly rock forward and backward with the upper body. So we tend to lean forward a lot. Now we want to find this center point where the spine comes up from the pelvis in kind of a straight line. The spine itself is not straight. We don't want to lean forward or backward. So see if you can find this position where you almost tip backward, but you don't. So now we're going to do this lateral breathing technique that I'm talking about in other videos. So if you want to go deeper into it, please visit one of those. Lateral breathing is really, really good for prolapse because we are aiming to use all the breathing muscles and they work together alongside with the pelvic floor muscles. So if you feel comfortable, you can place your hands onto your rib cage. And now we want to inhale 
deeply and at the same time feel our rib cage expand laterally. So you really try to kind of push your rib cage into the hands. And on the exhale now we're going to open the mouth and just sigh the air out. Good. So you inhale. Every time you inhale, it comes all the way into the nostrils, down to the bottom of the lungs, kind of pushing your hands out to the sides, relaxing the shoulders at the same time. And as you exhale, everything comes back into center. Good. Inhaling, expanding, also into the back rib cage. If you want to, you can place one hand at the back of the rib cage, so on your back. And as you take the next inhale, you try to inhale toward that hand or arm or whatever you want to place there. Just feel that you can kind of push a little bit with the rib cage into. this part that you're holding there. And each exhale that you take, please make a small sigh or any sound that makes you feel a little bit more calm. Good. So you take four more breaths here. You can place the hands wherever you feel good now really still focusing on the diaphragm and on expanding the whole rib cage without lifting the shoulders too much so already now we have some activity also in the pelvic floor because of the work we are doing The last inhale, last exhale. Now we're going to do something called Sufi circles. So you're going to come forward with the upper body now and then coming to the left, circling with the upper body all the way back and then to the right and then forward again. So it's kind of like you're stirring a pot with your spine. And you try to not change too much in the neck or on the head. Still keeping this tall spine. Closing the eyes if you wish. I'm going to do a few rounds here so find speed for you that is comfortable. Not too fast, not too slow. And if you wish you can add the breath. So each time you come forward you inhale, each time you come back you exhale. So you continue here. Softly, gently, relaxed shoulders. And slowly coming back into center, just stopping here, take a breath. And then coming to the opposite round of circles. So you come forward and then to the, to the right side and then back. And then to the left and front. So I want you to focus on where the spine connects to your pelvis. Can you visualize how circulation is coming into this area? It's so important, so crucial because the nervous system 
goes from the brain all the way down to the pelvis, to the hips, and then out to the legs and feet. So it's really, really important that we keep this area vital. Continuing for some more time. Remember, you can add the breath if you wish. So, so you inhale, come forward, exhale back. Good. And slowly, when you're ready, coming back into center, stopping here, close the eyes, and just notice the area I just spoke about. Can you experience some sensations here? Anything tingling, anything moving, circulation, warmth, maybe you're cold, anything you can experience. Just notice. And then we're going to come to a kneeling position. So we are going to do cat and cow if, if you can on a kneeling position. Otherwise, uh, you can sit with a cross leg position. That's fine too. So you place the hands on, on the legs. And what we're going to do now is that the first round we're going to focus on our pelvis. So we really want to work with the pelvis. It's, we are aiming to really take the pelvis into all its different positions. So you can slowly start to just lean forward a lot so that your pelvic bowl tips forward and then backward and you're kind of just taking the navel button toward the spine to kind of um, make a crunch there. So you do this in a rhythm that feels good to you. Maybe you want to close the eyes. And this is so, so good for everything in the pelvis and your hips and the different organs we have here, our bladder, uterus, rectum. So let's continue for just some more rounds. And then slowly coming to just a seated position, close the eyes. And again, observe any sens sensations. We're going to do the same type of movement, but we're going to emphasize it a lot higher in our spine. So keep the same position if you can with the legs and the hands. And now we're more going to lift the chest and the, the heart forward. And then separate the shoulder blades as much as you can. So you work here. Just taking nice deep breaths. Doing it in a tempo that feels good for you. Rounds. 
And then coming back to center, close the eyes and notice. Become aware of your spine. Become aware of your nervous system. Maybe taking a deeper inhalation and you can choose now if you wish to stay on the knees or coming to a seated position. Cross leg position. So we're going to work on some rotations for the spine now. I want you to place the tops of the fingers on top of your shoulders. And now we're, we are going to inhale to the left and exhale to the right. So you take the tempo that you prefer. You can do it really slowly actually, especially in the beginning it's really nice. And then as you start to feel the rhythm of your breath, and of your body's movement, maybe you want to increase the speed a little bit. So breathe slowly. It doesn't have to be in rhythm to the movement. Just do what feels good. So you stay here for some more time. Last few rounds, maybe you want to speed it up a little bit. And then slowly coming back into center, letting the arms down and notice the effect of the exercise that we just did. We have one more exercise before Shavasana, resting. We're going to do some neck rolls. So you tip your chin forward and then coming to the left and then to the back and then all the way to the right. So you do these circles in a slow way. The neck is quite sensitive and many of us have tensions here. So just see if you can breathe. So maybe you want to breathe in when you lift your face toward the sky and breathe out when face is coming down toward the earth. Slow movements and maybe you even want to stay somewhere if, if you experience more tightness somewhere. You, you can stay there and take one breath to see if anything changes and then you circle again. And the next time you come forward you take the other way. So you circle it in the opposite direction. In a way that feels good. No stress. Just being here and now with your neck and your breath. And slowly 
coming back into center. Just notice. Opening the eyes. And we're gonna come back down to the floor. All the way down to the floor. You can put your hips up on a pillow. And maybe you wanna keep your knees bent, feet on the floor. If you want to cover yourself with a blanket, please do. And relax the arms alongside the body, just giving our pelvic floor some rest here from gravity. So you just stay here and relax, close the eyes, breathing in and out through the nose if possible. Now slowly, gently coming back, so you stretch the arms up overhead, maybe you want to stretch the legs, the toes, everything, slowly rolling off the pillow, to one side, bend the knees, and just stay for one breath or two before you come up to a seated position again. So letting the palms come together in front of the heart, bowing in toward yourself, thanking yourself for giving you this space to create movement 